Hello, this is a tutorial video for the WOW software. It's a diagnostic software used by main dealer level uh, mechanics and uh, auto electricians. It covers a lot of cars, as I will go through the list in a minute, if you can see all these cars it covers. All the way down here. And on and on and on. And it does uh, functions like, um, well, it can do scans for cars to uh, scan all the electric modules of the cars, basically all the brains of the ECUs that power different modules for like uh, the engine management, um, the door modules, fuel pump, etc. And if there's any uh, codes, error codes stored in the modules, this will bring it up and it's quite specific as to what the fault is. It doesn't just give you a generic code, it'll, it pretty much tells you what the fault is as well. Uh, it's quite accurate. I've fixed many cars with this, which uh, a lot of garages were struggling with diagnosing and I've, based on uh, the diagnostic I got from this tool, uh, I was able to diagnose it correctly, change the part that was needed and then the car was running mint again. Anyway, uh, first of all, just to uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, we're going to select uh, Audi, uh, Audi diesel, because that's the one I'm working on at the moment, Q7. Right, so it covers, it goes up to around 2017 this, uh, but the ECUs on cars, say if you're diagnosing a car which is 2018, if you just select all at the top and not be specific with the year of manufacture of the car, then it's most likely that um, you will still be able to do it. But the car I'm going to be doing with is 2008. And then you select the model of the car. In this case, it's an Audi Q7. Then it will load up all the different variants of the Audi Q7 2008, which is covered by this software. And if you can see, we have got the 3 liter TDI CR diesel, and the 3 liter TDI just CR. So if we go down uh, it's also got the 4.2 TDI and the 6 litre as well V12 it gives you the engine code next to it so it gives you an easier option how to identify the vehicle that you're working on the one mine is the CASA um, engine code so I'm going to select CASA on there Right, okay. Right, then you get this bar populated. Um, it tells you all the things that are available for this vehicle. Uh, for example, if we go on to technical data, in this you can see it has test values. Uh, the configurations of the timing belts and chains, you've got airbag electronics. There's a lot of areas on this which are greyed out. For example, it would be handy if it had wiring diagrams. But for some makes and vehicles, all these are populated. But for this one, only these are uh, when it comes to technical data. Uh, for example, on the chassis, if we click on that, uh, you can have a manual or wheel alignment this kind of stuff it's um telling you with that anyway this the the main thing that i mainly use on here is the diagnosis so here first of all if you select plug position it'll tell you where the connector is for the ob22 uh, system detection you click on that and it offers you three different scans i always go for the normal scan when you go for the normal scan uh, it scans the whole of the car's modules, sometimes about 80 modules on, on the whole car. 
and you know it covers everything if there's any faults in there it will, it will bring them up then there's a quick scan uh, which is a very quick only the major component uh, modules of the car will be scanned and in a service scan it goes through each like door module and everything individually and you, you are able to scan that and it will bring any codes up from that further down you can without scanning the whole car um, you can be specific with the area that you want to concentrate on say you've got a fault in the engine you will just do the powertrain uh, that's got uh, the gearbox it will scan and the engine system uh, if you want to uh, concentrate on brakes and ABS systems and suspension like air suspension is a big come from Audi Q7s I have got a video on uh, that as well and uh, I'm going to s shortly release a second one because uh, I found out some new things about which I need to add on to that video um, and I've hundred percent fixed the air suspension problem now. And um, anyway, that's that chassis side of it. And uh, there's also bodywork, which has the power seat, draw modules, uh, trailer module on it. There's um, safety, which has got airbag electronics, lighting system, immobilizer, locking system. You can like for these, you can just go into that on its own, and uh, you don't need to do the full scan because uh, you, you go into a specific uh, module because you know the fault is in that module. So then you can do get live data up there to monitor all the different uh, sensors to see if you've gained the right uh, numbers that you should be getting. Uh, and you can also put graphs, display graphs on there uh, to see how they're performing. Like for example, on the ABS, you could put all four wheel sensors on together, drive the car forward and see what kind of signals you get in what kind of um, uh, graphs you're getting with um, to give you a better idea of which one is working and which one isn't. Uh, right. Well, this is one of my favorite parts of it, which is the functions. In the functions, uh, you get options like calibration, activation and coding. Uh, calibration would be um, you know to if anything has uh, gone out of calibration like your gearbox or you know the adaptations on it or you know your EGR valve timing and injector timing anything like that you can do that so if we go into calibration it tell you uh, everything that you're allowed to do on this vehicle and uh, all the options you're gonna have say for example on the instrument panel all these things you can do Heating, you can control the cord, uh, cord control unit. Um, there's AC system, the locking system, brakes, all these things you can do on it. The service, the gearbox, you can call it. Central lock to electronic unit, engine system, you can. You know injector programming the kick down switch if you can do like a dpf regeneration um vehicle electrical system the code in the battery you need to code the battery when you put this in uh, put a new battery in, in this vehicle um you know it's, it's a good very uh, good option of things you can do on here um similarly um if we go into other in activation so you know if you have an electrical problem and you want to know if the component is working and the problem is in the wiring uh, that's where this activation comes into it you can activate that component itself and all these things you can activate on here so on this one it's giving mainly the options of um, the speakers okay but in some cars you can do the horn the lights uh, doors locking opening i'm sure you can in this as well but it's just probably going to be another way of going into it uh, let's do the coding and in this you can code the sound system 
this is very brief. It's just giving you an idea of what this diagnostic software is capable of doing on just one model. Like I said, with some with some cars you can do a lot more with others you can do less is just one of them things you know uh, uh, depending on what car you're working with but i hope this gives you a good idea of how to use this tool and uh, it's going to save you a lot of money going to garages and getting their stupid diagnostics a lot of them don't even know what anything is and they end up uh, changing parts for and costing you hundreds of pounds which you don't need to spend and you can you know just do it yourself and familiarize yourself with this software all softwares work same so if you start off with something like this and then you can move on to better stuff uh, i will be doing a video actually on a car this is obviously i'm not even plugged into any car so this is just going through how the system works and what kind of stuff is available on it i will be doing a video with it plugged into a car actually diagnosing a car and see what kind of fault comes into it and then uh, take it from there. Hope you like this video and it's useful for somebody. Thanks.